following demonstration uses the SMART process within OpenText Assure to manage the complaint handling process within a customer services scenario. Before we begin the demonstration, let's meet the people or characters that are involved with the customer services story. We have our customer, in this case, a lady named Alex. Alex has sustained some damage to her home whilst taking delivery of a new bed. We also have our customer services rep within the Acme Corporation. This person is responsible for dealing with Alex's complaint, and this is Steve. We start our demonstration in the service center, which is the customer environment for customers of Acme Corp. This is where Acme publicizes their services and allows customers to contact them with any issues or queries. The environment can be tailored to each of their customers or groups of customers so that each visitor sees the things that are relevant to them. As you can see on the home page here, Alex has the ability to log a new complaint or compliment and also can see any active records that she has open. Alex can also see frequently asked questions, news articles, and gather other information that might be relevant or helpful. In this case, Alex is going to use the customer complaint button to log a new complaint regarding some delivery damage she sustained. The first field here is asking Alex if the complaint is regarding specific detail, such as the product, location, or item. These items are specific to Alex, and different customers would be presented with their own personalized list. In this case, Alex lives within delivery zone X, so is able to confirm that the complaint is regarding delivery that occurred in that area. The second field asks Alex to state if there's particular service that this complaint is regarding. Again, these are services that we know Alex uses and therefore it is a tailored list. In this case, Alex will select home delivery service since this is the service that Alex was using. Optionally, Alex can specify the impact, whether this was related to just her or more general areas such as a particular store or a product. When Alex fills in the details, the knowledge base is checked to see if there are any relevant articles that might be able to assist Alex. If so, she may be able to expedite the resolution of her claim or avoid having to submit any case at all. In this case, after consulting the knowledge article, Alex realizes that she could more quickly expedite her claim if she submits some documentation. In this case, she's going to attach a picture of the damaged goods. This particular attachment will be connected to the case so that Steve later on will be able to review the damages and quickly resolve any problems that Alex has. By submitting this form, Alex has now logged her complaint and this is confirmed by the message box. If we close this down and refresh, we will see that we have the details of the new complaint in our My Queries box. Note that there's currently no deadline and we'll see why that is true in a moment. If you click on the items, you can view the details of the particular incident as well as any actions that's been carried out so far. In addition, she can add a comment to assist the customer service representative with additional information that she may have. We're now going to switch roles and have a look at Steve's world. Steve has a list of work items that land on his desk based on the types of issues that Steve deals with. These are defined by Steve's role and allows us to route activity based on skills, ensuring the right activity ends up on the right person's work lists. If we filter Steve's activity, we can see there is one open record that just came in. And we'll see that this is the record that Alex has just submitted. We can open this record and see a summary of the complaint details. We are also able to take a more detailed look by clicking on the details page. By doing this, we can see that there are some details that are missing. 
This is because it is up to our customer services representatives to complete these additional details based on the information within the complaint. We can also see our action buttons at the bottom of the page. These buttons show us what actions we can take next, and these are based on where we are in the process and what our role defines what we can perform. Other information pages at the top of this complaint gives us access to the attached photographs, an audit trail of activity so far. Steve's going to verify this particular complaint and ensure that it is assigned to the correct team or area. As part of the verification process, he's going to fill in the correct category and the correct subcategory. This can be now submitted as a valid and complete record. It is worth noting now that if we go to Alex's view, that the complaint is now active and has a deadline associated with it. In case Alex is not keeping an eye on the complaint from the portal, Steve decides to go. he's going to send out a confirmation email to advise by selecting the Add Action and then choosing the Send Email. Steve can send an email onto the contact. Rather than having to type out the email from scratch, Steve is able to pick from a list of email templates. And we can see the template includes some preset information as well as variables that were included from the request, such as the complaint reference and Alex's name. Steve can amend or add to the template as required. In this case, Alex did send us a photograph and we're gonna remove this piece of information. At any time, we can see what's happening with this particular incident by going to the Actions tab. And for example, we see that the email that was already sent. Once this email has been sent, Steve wants to initiate the process of dealing specifically with customer property damage. There are a set order of work items that need to happen to ensure that we investigate this in a consistent manner. Rather than Steve be expected to know the exact list of events, which leaves us open to inconsistent process, Steve is able to invoke a task template specific to a complaint of this nature. Again, he goes to the Add Action, and this time he selects a task template. We see that he has some options on which template to invoke, and on this occasion he picks the relevant template. If we show the template details, we can see that there are a number of tasks that will be sent potentially to different teams, and each with different deadlines and time allowances. We can also see that some items are dependent on others to be completed first. In a real environment, these tasks would be undertaken in due course until completion, but for purposes of our demonstration, we'll assume that these pieces have got completed and allow us to progress. In our scenario, the evidence was considered, and after taking some statements from the delivery people, it was decided that Acme Corporation was responsible for the damage and needs to compensate the customer. To confirm this, Steve is going to send Alex an email with the details and advise that the customer has awarded a $50 voucher that can be spent in the store. He chooses the discount voucher awarded email template, and then he fills in the blanks before proceeding. Now that we have accepted responsibility and compensated the customer, Steve is going to resolve the complaint by selecting the sensible resolution codes and details. Note that if any new information was learned in this particular resolution, we can create a knowledge article. The knowledge expert for the system can use this information to create a knowledge article or amend an existing knowledge article so that next time the agent can more quickly resolve this problem. If we now switch roles and become Alex again, who have received our various emails, we can see that the details and updates are all recorded and visible within the My Queries area.
Alex can also navigate to the My Information page and under her documents she can see that she has a store voucher waiting for her. It can be printed and then used in the store. Alex, feeling that she has received more than a suitable resolution to her complaint and is impressed by the services she's received, decides to have a look at the other services provided by the Acme stores and browses through the shopping cart items that are available. These are products, services, and other items that are available to Alex to consume, subscribe, or utilize. Here we can see items such as home delivery, service, loyalty program, and duplicate receipt services. After Alex's positive encounter with Acme Corp, Alex decides to become a loyalty card member and uses a simple request to form to request a membership. These items can be quickly and easily set up within Assure, and they come with their own tailored questions. These are treated as customer service requests and handled using the same Assure request process that we just went through. This concludes our demonstration of Assure and the Smart Process apps for customer services.